Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to be looking in the next few videos at some measures of central tendency here. And essentially, we're going to start with um, the arithmetic mean from a data set. And, and we may be familiar with this, finding an average or something. Um, but we'll have a few different things in here as well that, that uh, some of you may not be aware of. So when we talk about the mean, um, what we're really saying, the mean really is just the average um, of a set of numbers. And, and to get this, what we're going to do is, is we're going to take the sum of the items in our data set and we divide it by the number of items in the data set. Okay. So let's say we had um, four test scores. And they are 86, 92, 73, and 81. These are our four scores. If we want to know the mean or the average, what we do is sum all these items up. So we add them all up. So let's see. 12, 18, 33, 332. Okay, so that's the sum of the items. Now, how many items do we have? We have four. So we'd have 332 over 4 is equal to 83. So 83 would be our average score here. Okay. Now, a couple of different things we use when we do the mean. We have what we call X bar, which is an X over top of it. This is the mean of sample data. All right. We have sigma, which is sort of, um, it, it's, it's a little weird. It sort of does this thing. Looks like that. And this is sigma. And this means to sum or sum up. And um, the last one we'll see here is if, if we have something like sigma, we can write it like this a little bit. If we have this, and we have this x, oops, let me, x y plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 um, plus da, 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 all the way to x sub n. This means we're to sum all values of x. Right. So basically if we think about this and um, these new notations that we have, that means essentially the mean would be x bar, so there's our mean of sample data, is equal to the sum of x over m. And basically that's what we're doing here. We're summing up all the data. These will be all our all our uh, variables, all our, our, our scores here in the test scores. The sum of x, that's the sum of all these. We divide it by n, which is n is number of items. So it's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> so when we look at mean, this is what we're looking at. Um, so I don't, there's not a whole lot else to mean. It is just the average of numbers. So I'll come back with another video. We'll talk about um, median and mode here with regards to central tendency. So hopefully this little bit about the mean helps. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.